ever wished you could create professional construction details in just few clicks? No complicated tools, no endless setup, just drag, drop and design. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kritika. I'm an architect and educator and I create content to help designers like you to work smarter, not harder with best digital tools. In today's video, I'll show you how to create clean professional construction details using my favorite rayon design. You will learn how to draw, style and annotate in super fast and intuitive way without jumping between multiple apps. If you are new to rayon design, be sure to check out my previous tutorials where I have covered how to create detailed architectural floor plans and site analysis link in the description box below. I have also added a free student account link so you can try rayon yourself Plus, you will get ready-to-use construction details templates to speed up your workflow. Now, let's dive in. Open Rayon Design. Today, I am going to create a roof construction detail and you will find all the templates linked in the description below. Here is the construction detail of a green roof and now I will show you how to create it step by step. So, here you can see that I have already added the drain section now i'll begin by creating the roof then the walls and finally add all the layers and material for the green roof to create the roof i'll use the polyline tool from the bottom toolbar and just start drawing the shape i'll make a groove where the roof meets the wall which is the part of construction detail at the bottom of the roof i will add another groove also called a drip course now, I'll add the floor slab on the left side of the drain. On the right side, we have wall above the roof. And on the left side, it's your choice if you want to add a break line. I will include one here. I am making closed loops of all the elements I draw, like the roof and the wall, because I will add hatch pattern to them later and a closed shape makes that easier. Then I will draw a separation layer between the roof and the waterproofing membrane to provide that extra protection. In the polyline tool, you can easily switch between straight and the curved lines with one click. And if you want to edit the curve, just click edit, adjust the arcs radius and click done. Now, I will repeat the same step on the right hand side of the drain, leaving a small gap for the waterproofing membrane to cover the drain properly. With the separation layer done, it's time to add waterproofing membrane. I will use the polyline tool again and from the right hand side properties panel, I will switch the line to dashed line. I will add membrane on the both the side of the drain. And also extend it vertically and horizontally on the wall to protect it. Then I will switch back to the solid line and draw a border around the waterproofing layer to give it definition. After that, I will add an anti-root membrane. This helps prevent plant roots from penetrating the waterproofing layer. Next, I will add a layer of drainage gravel using the polyline tool again. Above that, I will place a filter fabric layer which prevents soil from moving down into the gravel. Once the filter layer is added, I will draw a plant soil layer. This time, I will switch to curve tool to create more organic, irregular shape for the soil. Now, 
Next, I will create a metal cover on the wall using the polyline tool. The best part about using this tool is you can always edit the shape later by selecting edit and adjusting the control points. Now that my line drawing is ready, it's time to customize it and make it look more detailed. Starting with the waterproofing layer, I will select it and change the line weight and color. I will use gray color from the right hand side panel. Next, I will highlight the outer boundary of my detail using the solid line with a thickness of 0.35. This helps give the drawing more clarity and structure. Then, I will add dotted lines to show extension like the roof overhang and the drain pipe. Now, let's move on to adding hatches. First, select the element you want to hatch. Go to the style section on the right panel. Click fill. Select the hatch. From there, you can choose the pattern. Adjust the scale, rotation, and even the color of the hatch. To speed up things, I will use the dropper tool. Just select the roof shape, pick the hatch from the wall and apply it to the roof. I will repeat the same step for the separation hatch using the grey hatch with a smaller scale. For the gravel, I will first make sure the shape is closed. Then apply a hatch. I'll do the same for the soil layer as well. Now let's add plants. I'll go to the block library on the left panel. Choose a plant symbol and simply drag and drop it into the drawing. If you want to add more organic or irregular shapes, just grab the curve tool from the bottom toolbar. I will use it now to draw roots under the soil to add more depth and detail. Once done, I'll just copy paste and reuse them. Now it's time to annotate the drawing. On the bottom toolbar, you will find the annotation tools. Just select the tool, click your point and add the leader line and the text. From the right hand panel, you can customize everything, font style, size, color, stroke thickness and even the start and the end symbol of the leader line. I will quickly add all my annotations. Now, to give it an art icky style illustration look, what I will do is simply select the plants, go to the right hand side panel and from there, customize the properties by adding a green color to them. Then for the soil, I want to add a brown color. So I will make a copy of the shape where I have added the hatch and place it over the original shape. Now. From the right hand side panel, I will remove the hatch and add a solid brown color, then reduce its opacity to 25%. 
after that i will repeat the same step for the gravel layer as well as the wall and the roof layers i will just duplicate the hat shape apply the solid color and then reduce the opacity according to my preference once that's done i will export the file just go to the left hand side panel open the pages and create a new page from the right hand side panel you can adjust the orientation choose a format and scale your drawing to export simply click on the three dots and you will find the export option you can export your file as a pdf or a png file and there you have it a clean professional construction detail created effortlessly in rayon design if you would like to try it yourself don't forget to grab the free templates and explore rayon design using the link in the description if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to hit like subscribe and turn on the notification so you never miss a new video got any questions drop them in the comment box and i'll be happy to help you also if you are on instagram follow me at the rate art.icky for more architecture and design hacks thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one till then happy designing bye bye